The car buying process starts when your dealership sources a car from a manufacturer, wholesaler, or trade-in. Your inventory manager enters the new vehicle information, and once it arrives, it's officially stocked and ready for purchase. Meanwhile, a consumer may spend several months researching cars on many different websites, comparing features, pricing, and availability. Eventually, they will generate leads to one or more dealerships through an internet lead form, email, or phone call. Soon after, the consumer is overwhelmed with automatic and personalized responses, many of which are quickly deleted or ignored. The first dealer who responds with quality content wins their interest, and an appointment is scheduled. The lead is then assigned to one of your salespeople. Your new customer shows up with loads of information to help them negotiate. Your salesperson asks questions, jotting down information on an unreliable sticky note so they can later enter it into your CRM system. Before the test drive, your salesperson scans, copies, and enters driver's license and insurance information for eventual entry into your CRM system and later into the deal jack. Your customer waits. Next, your pre-owned manager checks out the trade-in. Normally, there's a line of other trade-ins that have to be evaluated before they can start on the new one. Eventually, your pre-owned manager inspects the vehicle, and then they must log into a number of different systems to determine the trade-in value, including auction, book, and wholesale values, and vehicle history reports. Meanwhile, your salesperson has to find the keys, plates, and the actual car on the lot. Your customer waits some more. After the test drive, your customer provides information once again to start the deal framework. Many dealerships use the customer's own assessment of their credit score, which can lead to disappointed customers when they find out they don't qualify for special rates. To produce the first pencil, your sales manager must check OEM incentives and rebates, obtain the trade-in value from your pre-owned manager, obtain the vehicle price, and then compare lenders, rates, and terms to come up with a monthly payment. When the figures finally get back to your customer, they're often different from what they expected, so negotiations go back and forth. Your customer just wants the process to be over. Your customer is then sent to your F&I manager where they'll wait some more. Once they finally see your F&I manager, your customer picks some add-on products which changes the deal parameters. The clock continues to tick. Your F&I manager puts many forms into his impact printer which slowly types the data onto each document. More than once, a misaligned form must be reprinted. Your F&I manager explains that the original quote was an estimate and didn't take into account the tax details of their residence, so the cost is higher. Your customer is upset, but just signs the many, many deal documents to get the process over with. The ever-growing physical deal folder eventually will disappear into an off-site storage facility or back office, never to be found again. Finally, you tell your customer how great your service department is and ask if they want to take a tour. Exhausted, they say no. After spending an entire afternoon at the dealership, your customer drives away relieved that they hopefully won't have to return to a dealership again for at least three to four years. The car buying process of tomorrow is available now. Consumers are exposed to targeted automotive advertising based on the websites they visit and their search activity. Consumers use dealership websites to find the vehicle they want, generate an initial quote with finance incentives, self-initiate a credit inquiry, and review F&I products. Before they schedule an appointment, they screen the dealership on social media to see what the local community has to say about them. The consumer schedules an appointment on your website for a test drive and gives most of their information now to help save them time when they're at your dealership. The lead is automatically routed to your appropriate salesperson on their smartphone. Your sales manager calls your customer and has easy access to all their details in your CRM system. At the customer's request, an automatic text confirmation is sent to your customer eight hours before the appointment. Before your customer arrives, your salesperson uses a tablet to double check that your customer's selected vehicle is still in stock and sends a text message to the porter to prepare the vehicle for a test drive at the scheduled time. When your customer arrives, they check in and your salesperson receives a message on their smartphone with the deal details. Your customer receives the same message. They head outside for the walk around and test drive. 
Your salesperson can use their tablet or smartphone to scan your customer's driver's license directly into your CRM system and enter insurance information. Your pre-owned manager is automatically alerted that a trade appraisal request is now on the lot. They can now analyze auction pricing, book and wholesale values, and vehicle history reports all from one screen. Your pre-owned manager can easily find out how many inquiries you've received for similar vehicles on your website and in local search engine activity. When they get back to the dealership, your salesperson hands your customer a tablet so they can accurately and securely enter their own personal information into a credit check application. This automatically creates the first pencil for default loan and lease options, pulling in rates, residuals, rebates, incentives, customer equity, and trade-in value from your pre-owned manager. Your customer then makes a request that is outside of your salesperson's defined negotiation guidelines. They alert your sales manager, who easily views the deal's profitability, month-to-month -month stats, and consumer history from their mobile device or PC, and approves the change. Your customer now meets your F&I manager in showroom with a tablet in hand to present aftermarket coverage options to your customer, showing short, informative videos. It's time to make the deal official. So, an alert is sent to the lot manager to prep the car for delivery. Your F&I manager presents documents on a tablet and your customer reviews and signs them directly on the screen. You'll only need to use a laser printer for a few state documents that require a wet ink signature. Your F&I manager now has secure electronic copies of all deal documents in a digital deal jacket. After the deal is complete, your salesperson shows your customer a personalized website with their new vehicle's information and features, social sharing tools, and service records. Your salesperson schedules the first service appointment on this website, which will even allow them to pay online for their service invoices. Your salesperson takes a picture of your customer in their new car and posts it to the dealership's Facebook page. Your customer is so excited that they share the photo before they even drive off the lot. That was so much easier than I remember it. Your customer thinks as they're heading home, back at your dealership, your sales manager and salesperson add another sale to the digital board and begin to forecast how many extra cars they're going to need to stock next month.